In today's video, we're diving into simplifying expressions, one of the most important skills you'll need to master for your next test. I'll show you a variety of expression types, and it's your turn to shine. Pause the video at each question, take a shot at solving it, and then hit play to see how you did. Think of it as a challenge. Can you solve them all? Let's get started. Simplify 5a plus 8b plus 2a minus 3b. When simplifying expressions, you want to combine like terms. Like terms are terms that have the exact same variables raised to the exact same powers. Here, the 5a and 2a are like terms, so we can combine it. They both have a after the number. We will add the numbers. 5 plus 2 is 7. Then we will bring the common letter after it. So we have a. We can see that 8b and minus 3b are also like terms. They both have the letter b. We have 8 minus 3, which is 5. Then we bring the b after it. So this is the simplified form. Simplify 2x squared times negative 3xy. To be good at simplifying, you have to be good at multiplying also. The first thing you have to know is that, unlike addition and subtraction, you can multiply any two values. They do not have to be like terms. When multiplying, you will first perform a normal arithmetic multiplication on the numbers. In this case, we have 2 times negative 3. This is negative 6. Secondly, when you have same letters, you will just add the exponents. So here, we have x squared and we have x. x is the same as x exponent 1. So we have x exponent 2 plus 1. This is x exponent 3. Then finally, any letter that is left is just written. So here, we have the y. So our final answer is negative 6x cubed, y. We will come across more examples as we continue this lesson. Please encourage us to post more videos by liking, sharing, and subscribing. We really appreciate it. Simplify 3 times x minus 2 plus 4x. For a question like this, we have to first distribute the 3. Distribution simply means we will multiply each term in the parenthesis by the 3. So we have 3 times x. When you multiply a number by a letter, you'll just write the number in front of the letter. So this is 3x. Then we have 3 times minus 2. This is minus 6. Then we have our plus 4x. We can now add like terms. 3x plus 4x will be 7x. There are no more like terms. So we have 7x minus 6 as our final answer. Simplify 7a squared minus 4 times a squared plus 2 plus 6. We will start by distributing the minus 4. Please be careful when your number is preceded by a minus sign. You have to distribute it also. Negative 4 times a squared. This will be negative 4a squared. Then negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. We can add like terms. 7a squared minus 4a squared. This is 3a squared. Constant terms are also like terms. Minus 8 and 6 are like terms. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. So our final answer is 3a squared minus 2. Simplify negative 2x squared times 4x minus 3 plus 3x times 5x plus 7. To simplify this, we will first distribute the negative 2x squared in the 3x. Negative 2x squared times 4x. We multiply the numbers, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Then we add the exponents of the x. We have 2 plus 1. So we have x exponent 3. Then we multiply the negative 2x squared by the minus 3. Negative 2 times minus 3 is positive 6. Then we can bring our x squared. Next, 
we distribute the 3x. 3x times 5x is 15x squared. We multiplied the numbers, then added the exponents of the x. 3x times 7 is 21x. Now we add like terms, 6x squared plus 15x squared. This is 21x squared. So we have negative 8x exponent 3, plus 21x squared plus 21x. Simplify the expression. 4x squared minus 9 divided by 2x plus 3. A, 2x minus 3. B, 2x plus 3. C, 2x minus 1.5. D, 2x plus 1.5. To solve this question, you have to understand the difference of two squares. The term difference of squares involves subtracting one perfect square from another perfect square. Example, a squared minus b squared. The solution to this will be a plus b times a minus b. Please note that this applies only if the sign here is minus. For this question, the first work is to identify that 4 can be written as 2 squared, and 9 can be written as 3 squared, because 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9. 2 squared x squared can be written as 2x squared, so we have 2x squared minus 3 squared. This is the difference of two squares. We can write this as 2x plus 3 times 2x minus 3. This is divided by 2x plus 3. Since there's 2x plus 3 in both the numerator and denominator, they can cancel out. What is left is 2x minus 3. So the correct answer is option A, 2x minus 3. Simplify the expression. 4 times x minus 3 plus 3 times 2x minus 5 minus 2 times x plus 6. Students get a question like this wrong because they make mistakes with the negatives or minus. To solve this, we will distribute the constants outside the parentheses to each term inside the parentheses and multiply. For the first one, we will have 4 times x, which is 4x. Then we have 4 times negative 3, which is minus 12. We work on the second part. 3 times 2x is 6x. And 3 times negative 5 is minus 15. Then we work on the last part. Negative 2 times x is minus 2x. And negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Next, combine the like terms. Combine the x terms together and the constant terms together. 4x plus 6x minus 2x equals 8x. Then, minus 12 minus 15 minus 12 is minus 39. So the correct answer is 8x minus 39. Thanks for watching. If you found these expressions a breeze, check out our advanced videos to challenge yourself even more. If you need more practice, we've got simpler videos to help you sharpen those skills. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on new lessons. See you in the next video.